Last week we talked about IPv6 prefix sizes and the disagreement we sometimes see in the networking community about the size of the net block that we should be allocating on a regular basis. We have RFC 3177 to look at, its recent replacement RFC 6177, and a general wisdom floating around the IT community. If we look at RFC 3177, these standard recommendations are the slash 128, the slash 64, and the slash 48. Clearly no one uses the single address slash 128 assignment any longer, but the slash 64 and the slash 48 are still standard. RFC 6177, just approved in March, opens up the possibility for other addressing assignments, but gives a few recommendations as well. Addresses must aggregate and scale well. No one should have to use address conservation techniques like bridging for IPv6 unless they really want to. Prefix sizes should be kept short to allow for ease of renumbering without needing to renumber into a smaller subnet size. The same goes for managing reverse DNS. Management is simpler when all links have the same subnet IDs, so a larger allocation like a slash 48 is ideal. And the V6 allocation should be capable of supporting any type of network growth, small or fast, large or small, something also easily done with a slash 48. As we promised in the last webcast, Hurricane Electric will share its stance on the IPv6 prefix debate. HE.net will continue to push for slash 48s for all end sites, including residential end users. Let's take another quick look at the size of the IPv6 space and how much we're currently using. There are 8 slash 3s. We're using one of them. That gives us 512 slash 12 net blocks for the RARs. Each RAR slash 12 block gives us over a million slash 32s. And then we have 65,000 slash 48 blocks in each slash 32. In other words, each slash 12 to an RAR can dole out over 68 billion slash 48 end sites. So over the course of this slash 3's future, let's assume for comparison's sake that each of the 5 RARs winds up with an average of 100 slash 12s. That would give each RIR about 7 trillion slash 48s, a number 1600 times larger than the entire IPv4 address space. And that, ladies and gents, is just the first of the slash 3 allocations. As RFC 6177 states in its summary, the exact choice of how much address space to assign end sites is an issue for the operational community. As Hurricane Electric IPv6 evangelist Owen DeLong puts it, the residential end user of today is not what we are hoping for in the residential end user of tomorrow. There are so many things that can be possible with an automatic, more complex network topology in the average residence. Those things will not come to fruition if we hobble IPv6 deployments with IPv4 thinking. Your slash 48 of IPv6 space with Hurricane Electric is waiting for you.